Hi, this is Randall from Atlanta in Shadow, and you're watching Go Terran TV. Hey everybody, welcome to Go Terran TV. I'm Taryn, the traveling trainer here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's episode 515. We have a very uh, new guest to the show for the very first time here, also in Atlanta, Georgia. She's the founder of Puppy Pals, uh, Ms. Randall Ray. Randall, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Taryn. How are you? Very good, thanks. Uh, great to have you on. Great to see you. Haven't seen you for a while. Uh, yeah, but, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, uh, my pleasure. Well, thanks for coming on. Uh, you look great, by the way. I was going to say, I haven't seen you since last year. Randall's one of uh, my clients that I trained over in the Buckhead area, and uh, she was actually connected to me through uh, Catherine Marshall. So if Kathy's watching, uh, I wanted to give her a quick shout out. And uh, again, Randall, you look terrific. So um, it looks like obviously you've still been keeping up your workouts and uh, How's everything I, been going I otherwise? I say I had more, but <laughs> I do walk the dog a lot. <laughs> that's terrific. Yeah, and that's what we're going to talk today. Our uh, topic of discussion, we're going to talk some dogs and uh, get to talking about your app, uh, what you're doing uh, with that. Uh, I also want to mention, uh, we should note uh, that we got to say hi to Mike and Karam. They're our mutual friends who uh, linked us to up together, too. Uh, with the app, so I'll definitely ask you about that. But uh, first and foremost, um, if anybody's watching for the very first time, uh, let's get them to know you first. Um, can you tell everybody a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and how you ended up here in Atlanta? Absolutely. Um, I'm originally from Louisville, Kentucky. I uh, moved around a little bit for school. I did my undergrad in Chicago, law school in New Orleans, and Atlanta seemed like the next logical great city for me to move to. Um, I've been here a little over two years now, and I've just fallen in love with it and have no plans in leaving anytime soon. Perfect. Good. And, and are you still in the uh, Buckhead area as well? I am. Yes, I'm in Buckhead. That's excellent. Good, good, very good. Well, Atlanta's a fun place, no question about it. A lot to do here. Um, and uh, I guess one thing we can agree upon, the uh, traffic is uh, definitely getting worse. It's pretty heavy up your area, too, uh, right up there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that's wonderful. And um, so l let's ask uh, you about Shadow, too, because uh, I got to meet Shadow. That's Randall's doggy. And um, so have you always been a dog lover? I have. Um, I hadn't had the opportunity to get a dog of my own until I moved to Atlanta and decided under no circumstances was I living anywhere that wasn't dog friendly. So <laughs> uh, sure enough, I think within like three or four men uh, months of moving to Atlanta, I uh, started looking into getting a dog, and I rescued Shadow through uh, Rescue Me Georgia. Perfect. Good. And, and uh, can you tell the folks a little bit about Shadow, what kind of dog he is? And, uh... Yeah, he is. Um, he, when I got him, he was seven weeks old, and they said that he was a shepherd mix and would be about 40 pounds. And he just turned two at the end of July, and he's pushing 80. So <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I, um, I actually had his DNA <laughs> tested, and he is... Uh, Half lab, a quarter husky, and probably a quarter shepherd. So. Oh, that's a beautiful mix. I love that. Wow. Uh, he, he's a beautiful dog, too. Again, I've gotten to meet him and had the pleasure. Um, let me ask you this, Randall, as far as Atlanta is concerned with doggies. Do you find uh, the Atlanta area dog-friendly as far as parks are concerned? I do. I find it to be extremely dog-friendly. I think it has some of the best dog parks um, from the research I've done in the country, really. I know Newtown Dog Park, where we frequent, is one of the top ten in the country. Um, I go to Brook Run and Dunwoody a lot. And uh, it's it's nice because I live in an apartment, so I have plenty of areas to take him and let him run free. That's excellent. Yeah, and again, uh, you know, it, it is great that Atlanta is such a real animal-friendly and especially dog-centric place to live. Uh, you got a lot of options here. And in Buckhead, too, which is great. Um, I, I like that. I always see, especially during the summertime, a lot of people with their doggies. And um, so on that note, uh, let me ask you this, Randall, because that's going to kind of segue and a good transition into asking you about Puppy Pals, uh, the new Puppy Pals app. Uh, I believe that's going to be launched in the fall. And I was excited to hear about that. Uh, I immediately reached out to you because I wanted to get you on the show because I have a lot of clients who are dog lovers. I have a lot of friends who have dogs. So this is going to be a very interesting episode. We're going to talk about the app. Uh, first question for you right out of the gate. Can you tell the folks what is Puppy Pals, please? Yes. Puppy Pals is an app that will actually be launching in September. I'm excited to announce. Yeah. Um, don't have the official date yet, but it will, uh, tell, it will show all dog-friendly venues um, in the city of Atlanta. It will actually be nationwide. It will show a 
according to uh, whether they say they're dog friendly on Yelp. All that data will be pulled onto the app. However, Puppy Pals will show Puppy Pals certified businesses starting off in Atlanta, hopefully expanding soon, which means they've been personally vetted by us. They are 100% dog friendly, all breeds, all sizes. Um, in addition to the information that's on the app, there will be a Puppy Pals logo in the uh door of all of these businesses and it won't be limited to restaurants it'll be stores shopping areas banks walgreens i've recently discovered is dog friendly um so the logo will be there so there's no discrepancy and no confusion for people when they're wanting to bring their dogs with them yeah that's wonderful randall i i think that's terrific and great um i love the name too it's catchy puppy pals did you come up with that I did. I, I don't know when. I don't know how. I think I was uh, talking to my mom probably because I bounced all of my ideas off of her and it, you know, it just kind of came to me. Well, I love it. Again, congratulations. It, it stands out. It's uh, real catchy and it's easily rememberable. And um, so uh, can you tell us about the inspiration for the app? Uh, how did that all come about? Absolutely. Obviously, um, wanting to take my dog with me everywhere I possibly can. Um, but not only that, because as we talked about dog parks earlier, um, sometimes it can be hard because I have them in the car and I want to stop and get a few errands done, but it's 105 degrees outside and he can't wait in the car, you know, and just right. simple errands are now more easily accomplished knowing where he can, you know, run in with me, even like I said, just running into Walgreens for a few things and not feeling that guilt of leaving him in the car and everything. But um, what it really, I realized I had to do something about it and create this app. Um, I started working in retail. We have a storefront in town, Brookhaven, and it's such a dog friendly community there. And I mean, people are just constantly walking their dogs around and we allow dogs into our store. However, there's absolutely no indication of that. And I would constantly see people stop at the windows and look in with their dog. And when I could, I would run out and be like, hey, you can bring your dog in. And then it's a great day for everybody. The dog gets to cool off. We probably sell something, you know. And it's everybody. a win-win. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. So yeah. that's when, I mean, just seeing that day after day after day, that's when I realized I'm not the only one that has this problem. And I just want a... Uh, you know, community standard that all dog parents can rely on in terms of where they can bring their dog. And I'm hoping that the Puppy Pal certified sticker and app will allow that peace of mind. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that story. You know, um, until a couple of minutes ago, I didn't know that Walgreens was dog friendly. And to be honest with you, uh, I, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this, but every Walgreens I've been in, I can't think of one time I've seen a dog actually uh, in the store. So what I think it comes down to is creating awareness. And I think what you're doing is tremendous, especially for dog people, you know, uh, because again, like you said, uh, it sounds like uh, not even half the battle, but the majority of the battle is just to let people know and create that awareness. And uh, I think that's terrific. That's so cool that you discovered, you know, be able to invent this and create it. And uh, that's servicing a huge need. Uh, I think this is a goldmine of potential. So uh, this sounds like a really tremendous opportunity. I hope so. <laughs> Good timing. I think you're right. I think you're definitely on the uh, right track. I I'm excited about this. Let's talk about the app for a second. Let me ask you this, Randall. Um, did you, uh, how hard and challenging was it to get the app created? And were you pretty satisfied in overcoming all the obstacles and barriers and challenges doing it? Well, um, I'm not a tech person myself, so I had no idea, but I, I knew I couldn't actually create the app. Uh, mm -hmm. Fortunately, I, I reached out to you and uh, knew you knew just about everybody in the state <laughs> of Atlanta, and uh, you put me in touch with Karam and Mike uh, with Fish Joy, and I mean, they have just been more than anything I could have ever expected. I went to them with the idea. They It's a one-stop shop for everything I needed as far as graphic designs, app designs, everything. I mean, they've just been absolutely wonderful to work with. Um, and I mean, it's I've been doing a lot too, but they've been getting all the design work done and all the development done and everything like that. And it's it's been great. So I'm glad to hear that. Those are two really awesome guys. I've known them for a few years. And uh, yeah, what you just said, I can definitely attest to that. Uh, they're really brilliant, sharp, young guys, uh, you know, and, and they really, I'm glad that that was able to, you know, uh, materialize and they were able to work out. Um, as far as uh, any kind of, um, uh, you know, obstacles that you ran into or hiccups in uh, developing the app that you had to think twice about and revisit or did everything go smoothly? Um everything's gone pretty smoothly. Yeah. Um, it would probably be able to attest to that more than I can because, yeah. 
uh, they're so great about not letting me know if there are any <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> you just solve them on their own. So it's great. Um, yeah. I know uh, I recently, you know, I was excited to hear that it would be nationwide. It wasn't just going to be in Atlanta, you know, that we were able to pull the data and everything. So, I mean, people in California, people in where I'm from in Kentucky, Chicago, New Orleans, they can they can see the dog friendly places. They're just not puppy pal certified yet, you know, and right. and hopefully we'll get there soon. So that was exciting. Um our, one of our last um, minor hiccups was I wanted, just because you're in Atlanta, if you're going to Florida, to still be able to see, find places in Florida. If you're bringing your dog, you can plan ahead. And that wasn't available. At first, it was just sort of around me. But now we can search by zip code. So oh, all, all is well. Oh, mm-hmm. very, very good. Excellent. And uh, as far as the app is concerned as well, too, um, let me ask you this, Randall. Is it going to be available on the uh, Apple Store and on Android, or what is uh, the availability access on It's there? just going to be available on the Apple Store to okay. start with. Yeah. Um, I, I hope that we have the demand um, to say, okay, let's get it rolled out for Android as well. But mm-hmm. we're just, we just have to start with the one, and, um, and I, I hope that it will quickly be available on Android too. It just We need the demand for it first. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, the Apple Store, uh, and, and I'll say this, as far as all the people I work with with apps and uh, clients that I train, um, it, you know, again, uh, most of my clients, I'd say probably 8 out of 10 have an iPhone versus an Android. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and then also as far as, like, apps are concerned, I find way, way more um, accessibility on the platform of the uh, iTunes and Apple Store versus uh, Google Play and Samsung. It, it, they definitely, right. I think you're appealing to a much greater market and uh, bigger needs. So uh, that just makes sense. I'm glad to hear that it's available there. Um, and including myself, now I'll be able to do it too because I'm an Apple guy. And I know some people too, even my mom, for example, she's a Samsung user, okay. but she's an iPad. Oh, there you go. All right. But yeah. People still, you know, be able to reach the people that want it. Yeah, absolutely. I just recently discovered, too, that whatever's on an iPhone can be downloaded on an iPad via the Apple Store. Because I'm fairly new myself to, mm-hmm. to how that works. But, uh, yeah, you're right. That's a very good point. Um, mm-hmm. that, that, that's excellent. Um, and then I was going through the, And we're going to plug the website here in a second. But um, when I was on the website, I noticed uh, there's a tab for businesses, like local businesses, to partner up and work with you. Can you talk a little bit about that, please? Yes, uh, we're calling it businesses have the opportunity to mark their territory. Um, and, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, that's businesses hopefully hearing about us and seeing other places that are Puppy Pal certified and they want to be Puppy Pal certified too. Yeah. And so all they have to do is plug in their information and then I will reach out to them shortly after. That's tremendous. Uh, the one thing with a Puppy Pal certified business is it's important that it's all breeds, all sizes. So oh, good. Size restrictions. Oh, oh that's wonderful. That, that's good. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, and then as far as uh, what do you envision, Randall, for the, your goals for like, let's say, four puppy pals long term, five to 10 years from now, what do you foresee? What would you like? Where would you like this app to be at at that point? I really want it to be a one stop shop for dog parents or yeah. people that are considering being a dog parent where you can find all of the information that you'll need, whether it's vets nearby, dog parks nearby. Um, they already have great app, apps for finding, you know, uh, dog sitters and dog walkers. Yeah. I'd love to put it all in one place though, you know, mm-hmm. partner mm-hmm. or merge with some of those existing apps. So it could just be a one-stop shop, be able to purchase products off of the app. Um, just, you know, every month or six weeks, you know, when your dog food runs out, just oh. like plug it in and, you know, um, you know, just like a repetitive order. So, um, I, just to make it easy, you know, for yeah. dogs is the ultimate goal. Oh, any person with a dog, that's going to be like their ultimate uh, need uh, as far as an app goes. So that that's perfect. <laughs> I, I think you've hit it right on the head. So Thank I've got you. to commend you. Yeah, again, congratulations on this. This yeah. is amazing. Um, um, last question before we plug your uh, website and contact info and everything. Let me ask you this, Randall, in summary and a general uh, question here. What do you find most rewarding working with both people and their families of dogs? Um, I think ultimately it has to be that dogs are just like some, you know, just kind, pure souls. Yep. Um, I, I, I do think I've gotten to the point in my life where if you're not a dog person, I don't know if we'll get along. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I just, I, I love how much people love their dogs. And obviously I love the bond I have between, um, you know, Shadow and I, I mean, he's oh, yeah. just 
my world and my child and I love him so much. So it's just, it's been a great community. I've made good friends at dog parks, you know, everybody's always so friendly, you know, so it's just, it's a really nice thing. I like that. That's very well mm-hmm. said. Well, um, let's get some contact information, information out there. So, uh, for the folks watching, when we fade to black in a couple of minutes, just grab a pen and paper, they'll be able to jot it down. Um, so wh- what is the website and, uh, what's the best way social media to get connected with you and learn more about puppy pals? Yeah, the website is, uh, puppypalsapp.co not .com .co um, and if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram that will be the quickest way to get um, updates on the app you know the exact launch date like I said it will be sometime in September um, Instagram is at Puppy Pals app and Facebook is at Puppy Pals app as well perfect excellent Randall that's wonderful again I'm so glad to finally reconnect and uh, do this interview with you. And this is a great video blog for ultimate dog lovers, you know, and for their necessity for essentially for them to get this app going. So uh, when we launch, you know, again, the oh. app coming out next month, I'm uh, going to be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll spread the word and tell everyone I know, too. Great. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate you having me. Yeah, my pleasure, Randall. Well, again, uh, keep up the great work you're doing. Uh, let's do this again very soon. And uh, I'll tell you what, I think we should schedule a follow-up interview once the app is launched, and I can ask you how it's going from there. And, I would uh, love that. Yeah, sure. let's do that. Let's And, and let's definitely get together. Uh, if you get a chance, uh, either I'll come out your way or you come to the Family Life Center. And uh, that's another place, that Family Life Center gym. That's the first place I could think of. We should get them Puppy Pals certified as well. Absolutely. So, I mean, yeah. I, how easy, would, how much would people love being able to get a quick workout in? On their way home from the dog park or something. Yep, absolutely. Mm-hmm. And, and again, it's just uh, you scratch the surface. I think this is going to just spread like wildfire. So, uh, again, congratulations and uh, keep up the great work with it. And uh, puppy pals, get the app, everybody. So, uh, yeah. so we fade to black here. Uh, here comes Randall's information and puppy pals info uh, one more time as well. Randall, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Okay, everybody, there you have it, the new Puppy Pals app. You saw the contact information right there, the ways to check it out. Uh, Tell someone who you know that has a dog, and uh, also get in touch with Randall Ray directly. Let her know you saw her here on GoTerran TV. We're going to have her back after the app is launched next month and do a follow-up and see how it is going. So Puppy Pals, that's awesome. Again, I love that name. And I've always been under the uh, impression that you don't always want to trust people who don't like dogs, but you can always trust a dog. So uh, that's been my philosophy in the animal world. And uh, so that'll do it for today's video blog, everybody. How cool is that? Randall Ray. Again, Randall, you look great. Keep up the wonderful work and hope to see you very soon in person again. And I really enjoyed this video blog. We gave a shout out to both Karam and Mike of Fish Joy. We're going to be having them on back on GoTerran TV very soon as well. And for everybody else out there, hey, you want to connect with yours truly, the ways to do that is to please make sure to like GoTerran on Facebook, subscribe to GoTerran on YouTube, and follow GoTerran on Twitter. It's right down there on that little ticker there. So until I see you guys next time, remember, Taren the Traveling Trainer, Master of the Personal Training Universe, always tells each and every one of you that it's your time, it's your investment, it's your life. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and we'll see you on the next video blog, everybody. Bye-bye.